Back with SportsCenter, and yes, the mighty Quinn as head coach Steve Sarkeesian speaking today for the first time since their big win this weekend as they served notice to the SEC. Ewers finishing what he started, three TDs, 349 yards to lead Texas to a 10-point win in Tuscaloosa. Biggest win of Sark's tenure after that game slipped away from them last season when Ewers left with a shoulder injury early in the game. Here's Sark. This is new on SportsCenter. That one game isn't going to define our season last week. What we do moving forward, um, you know, I think championship teams continue to improve as the season goes on. And we've got goals and aspirations of, of being champions this year. We've got to continue to improve this week, and uh, that was the starting point here this morning. FPI loves the Longhorns' chances to improve 3-0 and and beyond uh, following their meeting with Wyoming this weekend. FPI likes the Horns in all of their remaining games, giving Texas better than an 80% edge in all but two matchups. The outlier here, obviously, the Red River rivalry. Say that slow. Mm. Game against Oklahoma in week six. And a man who knows what it's like to coach a college football knows that they may be favored on paper, Herm Edwards, but what's the reality in terms of their schedule? Do you see them potentially losing again this season? Well, the Oklahoma game you bring up, they beat Oklahoma soundly last year. I believe it was 49 and nothing. But the emotions of young student athletes, that's something you have to deal with every week. This is why in college football, it's, it's so exciting why. There's always an upset. And those what you always worry about as a head coach, where is my team? What is their mindset right now? You know, these guys are student athletes that go to school, have a lot of things on their plate. They're not professional football players. It's a 20-hour week. All these things come into play of how to handle the emotions of your football team. And right now, these guys are riding sky high. They're doing good right now. It is unbelievable oh that these ESPN projections actually put Texas behind Florida State, Bama, and Georgia to win the rest of their games. How do you guard against expectation and complacency? And that's very difficult because think about this team. They went into Alabama and beat Alabama. I mean, that's, that, that, that's, they're, they're walking around right now. Everybody's patting them on their back. I mean, big, big man on oh, campus. they're looking good right now, right? <laughs> Especially and in Texas. How, how do you, how do you yeah. take the air out of the balloon, right? Poop, got to right. pop the balloon. And, and mm. that's, the, that's the thing you always worry about yeah. as a head coach. Maintaining that level of excellence and commitment and consistency. Uh, coach, we appreciate Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.